Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X.E.L.O. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. And thank you guys for coming back. But if you are new here, definitely like and subscribe. Hit the bell notification. I'll let you know when I drop another video. If you are here for beats, I have a link below. It's called Beats You Need. And it'll give you to take you to the YouTube channel that actually has my beats on there. Or you can just go directly to the website, which is going to be XEL ohh.com you can come here for all your beat needs all your graphic needs and all your mixing and mastering needs as well and that's xel ohh.com all right man glad you guys are back to the channel if you haven't already definitely like and subscribe and today i'm actually going to be going over some shortcuts i'm just going to do some shortcuts all like key shortcuts that you can use or you should be using in cakewalk let's go all right move a big face out the way and i'm going to go down to the bottom all right so here we are in cakewalk and this is my light theme if you are interested in any of my themes my light or my dark i do have a link below in the description so you can actually download those themes if you're not sure how to install themes i do have a video showing you how to install themes as well all right so um let's get into it let's 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 go through the the setup here right okay so up here is like your control bar right and if you actually wanted to ever hide this for any reason whatsoever you just hit c on your keyboard and boom it disappears and that is c on your keyboard so it's now you see me now you don't <laughs> all right um over here this left hand section this is called the inspector pane and it starts with an i so they made an i to make it collapse so you can collapse it by just hitting i on your keyboard all right and um to the right here we have what they call the uh, browser section which starts with b so they made it a b so you hit b and it collapses that browser so now you can collapse your browser really easy so i can go uh, b i and c and just have my uh, tracks pane on the screen um, is just that simple i b c and everything is actually back um so down here in this bottom section this is called the console or i'm sorry the deck so if you want to remove your deck you just hit d which it starts with d is deck so d brings that up to do a full screen of this you do a shift and a d and it'll bring up the full screen of uh whatever you actually have so if you have your just your mixer down here or your console view if you have your piano roll, if you have your step sequencer, if you have it attached to your dock, this is where you'll see it. So anything attached to the docking station will go down here. And that goes for effects, that goes for like your um, your plugins if you're actually using the, the synth rack. All that is down here inside the dock. So if I hit just D, it'll bring up just my uh, track playing view. And it's, it's just wonderful, man. Like, it's, it's really... They really thought about a lot of these buttons that they actually have on here to add stuff and take away stuff on uh, Cakewalk. All right. So, um, all right. So let's say you actually want to do like an audio track. Um, you just hit Control and T, and that'll bring up an audio track, so you can just be ready to record some audio uh, right off the bat. Um, if you wanted to get rid of a track, say you wanted to just get rid of it without actually having to hit here and then right click and then try to look for it or delete, uh, you just hold control and delete and boom, it's going to delete that track, right? All right, so I just dragged and dropped um, some hi-hats over to uh, Cakewalk. I know this is not the right tempo when you actually have the um, track highlighted. So the track is highlighted, hit control and L and that's going to stop the loop clip the clip looping uh, on the track itself um, it helps out a lot uh, sometimes you'll actually get a sample and you, you're like why is it not playing correctly and it'll just be that but uh, seeing that I did adjust it I will have to bounce this clip 
And then if I click on it and do a control L, it's going to try to lock it to, and you can set your loop points this way as well. So now I can just loop this however uh, many times I want to by doing the control and L. If I take it off, it's not it's just going to uh, stretch nothing because there's nothing there to stretch. So now if I do a control L, I should be able to loop it now. And you see that little icon there that will show me that I am able to actually loop uh, right now. So of course if you go and scroll over this and you hit S, it's going to slice. So I'll go here, S, slice, S and slice. Um, so let's say I wanted to actually move this one down, right? So I can just hit the number pad, the number two on the pad is going to do a nudge. These are my nudge functions over here. So I'm going to hit the number two and boom, it brings it down and made its own lane and own track for that one I just did. So and uh, this is good for if you actually have audio and somebody like messed up a part but the other part sounds better and, is, and you weren't doing like a vocal comping kind of thing or someone sent you something and you felt that the other part was stronger. You can just cut out that section and then just use the arrows and it'll automatically go up to that section without actually having to do the, the hold and shift and trying to drag it around and move it out of place. Um, this way it's going to go exactly where it wants to go. And as you see, I can just make more lanes uh, if need be uh, for those tracks. And once again, to delete this, I'm just going to highlight this and do a control D and boom, those are gone. Right? So let's say. Um, I have this here and I want to do like a real quick edit. Like I think this hi-hat here is just too loud, right? So I'm going to cut right there, right? And I'm going to hold down. I'm going to give you a zoom. Let me zoom in a little bit first. All right? So I'm holding down Alt and using my mouse to scroll. And uh, I'm going to click on this one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down Control. And I'm just going to grab it and drag around. So now you see that little line that popped up? And that's just for me holding down control and then clicking on the, the actual wave. It'll give me an option to actually change this waveform and let's make it kind of small like the rest of them are. And this is good for your vocals as well. And it's a real simple way to do it. And that's just holding control and moving the mouse around. Um, some other cool things um, that you probably already know is, you know, like the, the copy and paste kind of features. All right, so let's say I wanted to kind of move this one down. So I'm gonna make its own lane and I'm gonna pull this down so I can see it. And um, I should be able to do a control C and then do a control V here. And boom, so now I have another one right here doing you know the regular commands that people most people should know already, which is control C, control V, control X to um, to uh, cut right and control V to paste right so all of these functions are still here um, in cakewalk um, I wanted to actually do all of them let me just come in a little bit here and uh, let's say I want to do all I can do a control in a and it's going to select all of them that's everything that's actually in here I can actually do um, a control D will duplicate this over. So I'm gonna hit control and D and that will duplicate it, the sound over to the next bar. Um, I know you guys have probably seen me do this uh, several times. I'm just gonna control Z all these and get it back to where it was. All right. So all these functions are regular functions that you actually have in any kind of um, Doll. So I'm just going to add some instruments in here. Um, let's do these, right? All right, I'm just going to throw some uh, MIDI in here. This is from um, Cymatics. So I'm just going to, yeah, let's just duplicate this same one, all right? I'm going to hold down Control. And I'm gonna grab it to drag it down, and that'll actually copy to the next line. Control, you see that plus sign, you can drag it down. These are uh, shortcuts you definitely wanna actually have um, anytime you're actually doing this kind of stuff. So let's say I didn't want this, this line right here. Say this uh, piano or whatever, I didn't want it. 
I can hit uh, Control and H and it'll hide that actual track. So now it's actually hidden. Now uh, let's say I wanted to hide this one. And you say X, how do you get it back? <laughs> so uh, you just hit H on your keyboard and it brings up your track manager. So now you can actually see the tracks that you have in here. You can remove the ones that you don't want in here. You could add them back if you want to. Just put the little check marks in there and you just hit OK and it'll come back. Uh, let's see what else we got. So um, to all my FL people, I know you guys miss the actual track thing at the top where you can move your stuff around. But fear not, Cakewalk has one as well. Uh, if you do Alt and N, it'll bring up this thing um, for your navigator. So this navigator gives you the option to kind of do like FL does, where you can kind of move stuff around and uh, go this way. And if you go to the end, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. So kind of like um, FL in a way where you can manipulate the, the track view kind of thing by just using this up here. Um, this is for all the people that left FL or are using FL and don't like the way you have to go down here to move this little thing. You can actually just use a navigator, which is Alt and N to bring that up. So it's Alt N. As you see, that'll bring that up. It's a nice little feature. I didn't necessarily know they had it until, you know, I just messing around. That's all I do, man. I mess around and find different things. Uh, i let you guys know how to use it. Right? Um, and of course, uh, you know, P is for preferences, so it'll bring up your preferences menu. If you hit P on your keyboard, um, let's see, what else is there? Uh, let's say you want to do uh, audio snap, and you just want to just bring it up. You can just do a, a Alt and A, I believe that, yep. Alt and A will bring up your audio snap, so you can do your audio snap functions on that specific piece. Um, it's really helpful to actually have this uh, audio snap at times uh, to kind of manipulate the, or walk the audio. If you watch my video, you saw how I walk the audio using the audio snap. So that is an option that you do have. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? Everything else would be like piano roll, actually learning how to do the nudge functions and So I can hit Q on the uh, the MIDI and actually bring up the, the quantize for it. Uh, and for like, you know, all the other little shortcuts, I do have them in my piano roll secret if you actually want to know like the piano roll stuff. So if you're um, trying to figure that out, uh, definitely check out that video. And of course, this is the docking, so I can do the full keyboard shift and D. If I wanted to move this other parts up, I hit I. And if I wanted to move the console to the top, I could hit C. And I have just my keyboard on the screen. Um, so if you need that real estate, if you're on like a small computer, I would definitely suggest to try that as well. So bring that stuff back. And I'm going to hit the docking station, bring that down. All right, I think that's about it, man. Um, we went through a lot of steps in here. If you do need to come back to this video or rewind any section, definitely do that. Um, like I said, Cakewalk gives you a lot of options, a lot of nice keyboard shortcuts. These are just a standard shortcut, so it should be working on your computer no matter what you're using it on. So um, the up and down, you have to have a query keyboard. Uh, sometimes the if you're using a laptop the keyboard might do some weird stuff but you have to have the number pad enabled in order to actually do that um, the nudge up and down to move the, the pieces around uh, like I was doing but other than that you should actually be able to do everything else I showed you in this video with no problems and with that being said um, if you watch this video all the way till here definitely like subscribe and hit that bell notification like I said, that'll let y'all know when I drop another video, let YouTube know that you guys are actually enjoying the content that I'm actually putting out there. And so I can keep going and keep doing this for you guys in the Cakewalk community. But with that being said, that's the end of this video. <laughs> All right, y'all, man, I enjoyed it. I'm glad I can help anybody that I did help. And once again, 
It's your boy X.E.L. O. Until next time, people. Peace. Thank you.